Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Today we're going to try not to talk about ourselves because that only leads to revealing deep, dark secrets. I was going to say, let's talk about all the great things we've done in our lives. Oh, I don't, I can't think of any. <laughs> I developed a website for a, a literacy program. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I, uh, I, I volunteered in a, uh, outreach program that painted the houses of the, the impoverished Son in West Virginia. Bitch, dude. You're a monster. I... I helped uh, harvest um, fields for for the the poor to eat. <laughs> eat I the... I did actually do that multiple oh, yeah, years in yeah. a row. Yeah, harvest of hope. Yeah, harvest of hope. Yeah. Oh God, no, 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 no. I think no, it's harvest no. of now. Now I, I can't remember. Oh, oh God, I was doing so good. Right I was that. doing so good. Oh, um, so okay, I know how to do this. So one. so please love me. <laughs> is basically what I'm asking you. Wow, what a what a terrific guy. <laughs> Not you, I don't care if you do. It's just the audience. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's hard. Um, revealing, spilling your soul, I guess, without revealing Ooh. the dark spots in Aww. it as well. Um, oh, oh, this soul. might be, there's, that's where yeah, you fall that's, down. Yeah, I figured it out. I just, oh, uh, okay. But the thing is, this is not easy. <laughs> this part is really hard. I hope my phone buzzing didn't just show up on the mic. Uh, I might. hope it did. I hope it did. I got a phone call right, and I was so holding my phone right up to it. Let's talk some Volgar. Yeah, definitely. So what's your strategy here, Joe? Uh, not dying. Good plan. These, this is, it's just, you know, it's, I don't know that this is any harder, but the thing is, the, the difficulty is learning each level. And I feel like that's what a lot of this game is, is, uh, it's a lot of learning. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you do have to, you have to replay it and replay it. That's what mm -hmm. it's, it, which is weird because I think as a game on its own, right, that's not a bad thing. Like, if I was just playing it casually, replaying and replaying is frustrating, but it's really rewarding to beat something. Whereas, oh God, I can't believe you didn't get hit in the back there. Playing it on the Let's Play, though, definitely changes that opinion, doesn't it? Like, now it's the... What makes a good game is a game that you can beat smoothly without having to <laughs> stop and pause and everything else. We also came up with the realization that if we wanted to end this recording session, Joe needs to beat... If we, if we want to maximize our value in ending this recording session, Joe needs to beat this level and then to not have to deal with the presumed boss that we haven't gotten to at the end of this level, he has to beat the next stage after it so that he could start on that stage the next time we record. Otherwise, he's going to have to go back a level from where we are now on the next recording session. And that's, that's really frustrating, right? There's no save that you can get to without going backwards a little bit. Like, you can only skip to a level that you've already beaten. I understand why they've done that, but it is tough for a Let's Play. Man. I also, when we looked at that... Oh, that was wow, tricky. Wow, so tricky. That was tricky. When we looked at that um, the walkthrough for the boss of the last level, I can't imagine learning this game enough without assistance, like, for that boss especially. You'd have to play so many times. Who has that kind of time? Uh, lepers? <laughs> they can't do a lot of other stuff, That's so... Good. That's good. You've, uh, you've, you've alienated oh, good. our leper audience. <laughs> We're supposed to be good this episode, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> no. <I> just... <laughs> I just can't escape my asshole. Oh, no! <laughs> what <laughs> Let me repeat that so I can't, so we have a good soundbite of it later for, uh, for not. No! <laughs> I just, Stop. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't escape my asshole. Oh, God. That's Down. Nice. Ground pound, ground pound. Ground pound, ground pound. <laughs> oh my god, he ground pounded me. He did. Oh, this guy's gonna, oh, gotta, this, this is so hard to get the max upgrades off of that, because that, that room is just brutal. 
Oh my well, gosh. We should probably thank Jack Plays, actually, for yeah, that Yeah, that remake. was awesome. We've had our first official IRL remix, and that now we're not real only made us super... <laughs> Jesus. It not only made us super happy... Like, wait, I don't know where I'm going with this statement. <laughs> what did it not only do? It uh, did make us super happy. I, that's probably it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It gave us something to reference, which is ourselves, but put in a different light. Because we would have never referenced Ground Pound, Ground Pound. But because you put it in a song... It's the perfect, like, techno yeah, ground pound, words. Ground pound. Yeah, yeah it, it just, like, fits so well that we, we start just throwing it in wherever now. I mean, we're, we're very much enjoying that. So thank you, Jack Plays. We'll, uh, we'll put a link to your SoundCloud in this episode. Because... Damn, it was awesome. <laughs> I've done some stuff on, on SoundCloud. Um, I, I got the, uh, the the GIRL's outro on there, which I wonder if people realize who, uh, who sang who that. Who sang it? Yeah, because yeah. I certainly didn't know it was you. No, oh, you weren't supposed to say! Oh. <laughs> I, didn't want, I wanted to keep it a mystery. Oh, uh, the, the mystery of Nick's female voice? <laughs> um, I, made a, I made a song on... on well, not, I put it on SoundCloud. My, uh, my Final Fantasy boss battle music. Yeah. Uh, you've heard it, right? No, no, you told me about it, but I've never heard yeah, it. I'll show you after this episode. I, think okay. I, I, I should put it up on the channel, actually, because I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, I, well, we can put a link in this to your SoundCloud. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll work. This is just going to be the um, all SoundCloud vulgar. And I, I don't know what else we'll put SoundCloud out there. SoundCloud jams. <laughs> uh, I got to work with... Um, uh, oh, nice. One hit on those now. Yeah. Well, those guys are all the one hit guys. Are they? Because yeah. they were two hits, I thought. There's the blue guys are two, the red are three. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know that it's worth going over these guys. Probably not. If you can just... Uh, oh, can't. spider. Those ghasts or whatever, too. Little, little ghosts. So this level is like Ghouls and Goblins plus Castlevania plus Legend of Zelda? Yeah, that, a little bit early. You would, uh, oh, God. Classify that, that, it as? I keep forgetting that thing falls. Yeah, you would think from your I've life experience so of far. ground falling out, um, you would have learned. Something about... Um, SoundCloud? Ground, SoundCloud? Ground Cloud? Ground Cloud? I got, so I went to Game Jams. You know about Game Jams, right? Uh, no. Game Jams are like... Where oh, you get oh a, what Game Jams are. Yes, where yeah. they develop them. Yes. So, yeah. Um, I, I did a couple of those. Oh, no. Yeah, which is super cool. They, the RVA Game Jams, actually, were a member of their group. Mm -hmm. Just because, like, they like Let's Players and stuff, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So we need to actually go to one of their events. It's really fun. Point. It's yeah. You can just do board games instead of, like, digital games. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, we, we got in touch, because I was doing it through Southern Polytechnic State University. They got in touch with a music school, and we had teams of musicians making us 8-bit music and stuff. Uh -huh. And, like, we had this amazing, like, we were doing a, a, a Jamestown-style shooter. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah. Um, it was, like, a steampunk dragon thing. A uh, shmup. Yeah, and um, we had this person make this amazing music. Redbeard uh, from Crack and Quake Gaming still has it. Oh, cool. um, it's like a, it's like a, eight bit heavy metal like rock anthem, and it's so good. Nice. Um, I like that the IRL family has like grown to the point where we can reference each other so constantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crack and Quake has this. Vaguely's got this going on. Like oh, everybody. Man, it's yeah. It's like a it's like a network of life. It is. It's really cool. But yeah, I, I want to check it out. You should, uh, you should definitely share that kind of stuff. Oh, um, you son of an you, ass! I can you like host I... it somewhere? Is it complete enough that you could? Oh yeah. Well, the game. I don't know if we still have the files. But, but... you could host like the art or the audio the... or whatever. Yeah, uh, I gotta touch. See, because my computer that I had all that stuff on is no longer among us. Yeah, try um, to get it. But so we can put it out. Redbeard surely has some stuff from that. Um, oh, oh. God damn it! I didn't mean to press down. <laughs> Um, How are we doing on time? We're pretty close. Pretty close. Not there yet. Man, I just wish Asshole Jambo and Big Coffee were part of our uh, ah, our IRL family. We need to get in touch with them. I mean, they're like they're like second cousins twice removed, right? Ugh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big Coffee is like <laughs> Big Coffee is like a sister to me. I presume it's a woman because we didn't have to ever get gender specificity. That's... And isn't it just nice to imagine that there are women on the other side of uh, a video game? I guess. <laughs> I, the way you said it kind of sounds creepy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Is it nice good this episode. Good this episode. To just right, imagine. Right. <laughs> uh, 
I but think about girls. I, I mean, so my first World of Warcraft experience, someone was playing you know, a, a lady rogue and invited me up to the tavern in Goldshire. Oh. oh. And uh, I was like, well, uh, yeah, sure, I'll party out with you. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Yeah. And she takes me up and just, like gets on the bed, does the slash lay down or whatever. I was like, so let's role play. And I was like, hmm. Um. <laughs> this is thirteen year old me being oh. like, oh. I don't okay. want to know where this went then. <laughs> no, I mean, it was. <laughs> was it not? At Jack's shop, because oh, it was like I remember the first time I got that game. You guys were playing EverQuest too, uh, and I was sitting next yeah. to you guys playing World of Warcraft yeah, by myself. And, and we were complaining about how terrible and cartoony the graphics were. Yeah. And then we all fell in love with World of Warcraft later. <laughs> like, you definitely you were ahead of the the group on that one. Yeah, and I only played vanilla really, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> completely fell off of World of Warcraft. Yeah, which well, is probably for the better, to be honest. Yes, for sure. Uh, I mean, that game has consumed some people's lives. I know some friends who played it and loved it, it and are had, had, glad to be done with it. I also have some friends who are like, I wasted so much of my life raiding. Yeah, I never got into raiding, thankfully. But we'll talk about that some other time on Instant Replay Live because next time, I don't really want to talk about World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. <laughs> Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.